to me, that's just that's that's just that's the ultimate disrespect. I come to get the basketball and you toss that in the stands, bro. I got words for you, champ. Welcome back to 7 p.m. in Brooklyn. I'm Carmelo Anthony here, here with my co-host. That's right, you know what I'm saying? It's your brother, Human Do Right Flap. This is a Wave Sports and Entertainment original presented by Prize Picks, and we back, you know what I'm saying? Yo, Melo last week, you know what I mean? I'm locked into the Knicks all day, you already know. And uh, You go was, right to the Knicks, though? Yeah, yeah, come on, baby. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is. <laughs> you know my body. You know what I'm saying? They went back. To war with Wemby, you know what I'm saying? And of course, you know what I mean? You know, we always talk about it on the show. He's 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 the new unicorn. He's one of a kind. You got to lock in when you face him up. But yo, I'm watching the game. Pardon, pardon. Pardon, pardon, pardon. pardon. Oh, <laughs> the TA 30 seconds in. We can't monetize. We go, back. Go, we go back. We back, baby. We back. We back. We back. We back. We back. My guy is back. <laughs> But yo, so yo, speaking of, so you gotta lock in, right? Jalen Brunson was locked in, bro, to the point where I was like, <laughs> when we come back here, oh, we had to get him on the show. Oh, we go have, yeah, we, <laughs> <laughs> yo, JB, what's up, man? How at your boys? <laughs> but yo, I'm watching him score. He's getting buckets. He's getting buckets. Numbers going up. Scores going up. And I'm like, hold on, he got, he got sixty <laughs> one. I said, hold on, somebody gotta hit the Buffalo Wild Wings button, bro. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> and then, yo, know, you know the internet's undefeated, so they went crazy. They got this, they got Melo with the dark season saying, yeah. With the dark season. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Calling a jump violation or something, man. Nobody's breaking my 62. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Fucking with it the fuck out of here. Jalen breaking my 62. Fuck out of here. <laughs> yo. Nah, yo. I, I was getting the text, though. I was getting the. It was hitting you up, like yo, you know, a couple yo, people. Yo, Mel, you watching this shit? But it wasn't like it was like yo, are you are you tuned in? Are you locked in? You tuned in? You watching the game? It was shorty frying, like you know what I mean. That's how, that's how it go. Right, right. And and then they hit somebody hit me. It was like yo, he, yo, turn into the game. I don't know, sixty two was on the line, but I ain't know what they was talking about. Right. And low key to and me, the, I'm like yo, it's a way. So it don't it don't hit the same. But it look good though. Like like yeah. sixty one on the road. Yeah yeah yeah, that's different. And the, and the game like I mean we he, we should have won. Yeah yeah. But Yo, sixty one on the road is it's tough. It's tough. You got yeah it's it's hard to do. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, listen. Did did you act? Did you think? <laughs> did you shit. think for a second? You know what I'm saying? You watching shit. the game? Did you say yo? Yo, he might he might get this, B. He might. Yeah, like, yeah, but it, it comes it comes to a point where it's like you stop thinking about the record, and it's like, yo, like go keep like go get it, like right. whatever it is, go get it. Even if it wasn't mine, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's like, yo, go get it, go get that shit, man. That's how I was actually a fan watching it. Like, oh shit, he about to get that sixty one right there. Oh, like <laughs> it was. I was watching it more as a fan than watching it as like, oh, he's about to break the record. Uh, you know what I mean? My record, it was in the garden. So it made it, you know, it made it a little, that much more. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So not to take away from his 61, but 61 on the road is actually tough. So watching it, it was more being a fan of like, yo, go get six. You know, oh, oh, shit, go ahead. Give him the ball. Give him the ball. Shoot that shit. Shoot that shit. <laughs> <laughs> pull it, pull well, it. I still want you to win the game too, right? Yeah. So it's like it's, it's my adrenaline got going watching the game. And then you, on the flip side, you got Wimby doing what he was doing. Like, so it was, I watched it as a fan and was like, oh shit, like, damn, this is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, when you watch it as a fan, is is crazy. If I watch it as a motherfucker who got the record, yeah, yeah. you're gonna be like, man, it's like, oh, go, go, man, nah, man. damn, nah, yes. Swing that like, shit, swing that shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's you secretly want to hold on to them records forever, but every record is meant to be broken. So I try to watch it, well, I did watch it as, as a fan. But so speak, uh, speaking about that and talking about it as a fan, watching it as a fan, Brunson been on a hell of a run, bro. He's hell been yeah. cooking, man. Like as a hooper, what's it been like to watch him cook? And what and what what really is like? Do you think is like the the reason for for him balling like he's balling right now? I think it's his his confidence for one, 
uh, I think his IQ of the game, his savviness of, of, of the game, uh, the way he's able to, he's, he's very shifty. Like he's, he's a point guard mentality. Like he, yeah. so he sees the floor differently. You know what I mean? And he's, 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 he does a very good job at controlling the team, controlling the pace. Floor general. Floor general. And, and, but also now he's getting, well, he's gotten to the point where he can put the ball in the hole. Like he can go get a bucket as, as we see. And I could lead my team by putting the ball in the hole. You get what I'm saying? So that's a different type of mentality. I also think that being here in New York helps that. The fact that I know I got to come to play. Like I know every single night I got to bring this type of game. I got to show off. This is this is Broadway. Like this I got to perform every single night. So the pressures of that, it, it keeps you, you know what I mean? Like, oh, damn, I got to, but it, it does it to everybody. Uh, you get what I'm saying? But for him to be the, at the helm of that right now and, and, and running the show and, and, and scoring 61s and having this run that he's having, it's incredible to watch, to be honest with you. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, they took the L, you know what I'm saying? They did. But... Again, JB was 61. At the end of the game, though, at the end of the game, though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the final whistle. So it's like, yo, you get 61 on the road. Like you said, it's tough. You know what I mean? Like, yo, let me get that game ball, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean, sign and give it to my seat, whatever. Whatever. Man, when he said, get the, she said, get the fuck, yo. Well, man, he said, yo, he threw a 30 yard. Get the shit out of here, man. <laughs> What the fuck is y'all talking about, man? <laughs> you say, oh, you want the game ball? Go get that shit. That's fuck that. Yeah, I'm here. I'm welcome to America right there. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to the league with me. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. I'd have been tight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like come on, man. If, yeah. But that's why, you know, to, it ain't no, like, there's no, like, how can I say this? There's no more, like, honoring and like like being in the moment like I, I get the competition of it. like there's no like saluting anybody anymore like it's it's super super competitive you know what I mean yeah. it's like and it's, it's it's getting to a point where it's disrespect almost in a sense right like niggas would have never did that well, you know when we was like he, like niggas would have never did that nigga if AI came and, and got 61 he was getting that ball nigga like you was yeah, yeah, Kobe yeah. got it niggas was stopping the game to give him the even though after a loss like Shaq, all, everybody, T-Mac, whoever it was, like, niggas was getting that. Niggas wasn't taking the ball and throwing it Fuck in the... Fuck this shit. <laughs> Section 300. What? <laughs> what? Could you imagine? Yo, could you imagine? It's a brawl on the court. Come on, could you imagine they somebody scoring 61? And then the opposing team taking a ball or the, the post? That's, oh, that's really disrespect. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm taking that as disrespect. Like, you saying, fuck me. Right. Well, he said he got fined 25 bands. NBA fined 25, 25 bands. bands. Fuck the 25 bands. Because that shit, but I was about to say that don't mean shit to him. He got yeah, that. but it, it, I mean, it does because it's a fine, but fuck the, the, that's disrespectful. You think it was on purpose or like he was just like, yo, you know what? Yo, fuck. I, you, oh, 61? Word? Think you getting the ball? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. I, I, if, I wouldn't call it disrespectful if it was like, if that was the first time. But right. then you go back to Indiana, like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah. it's shit is occurring. Yeah. To me, that's just that's that's just that's the ultimate disrespect. I come to get the basketball and you toss that shit in the stands, bro. And he was my reaction may be a little different. <laughs> like shout to Jalen for being composed because he was. Nah, you gonna be composed, it. but you going you. I got words for you, champ. Like yeah, I, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I got, yeah. Is this is this team bus situation? And you, the, and you the rook though. Like you the rook. That's it's, that goes back to that not part. having respect. Like I've been doing this. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, me. I used to have forty and twenty two shit Yo. on my home court. I, I would prefer you to take the ball with you. You know what I mean? Yo. You know what I mean? Getting the back, big sided. Oh shit! I have forty and twenty against the Knicks. That's a major moment. Right. You know what I mean? I win against the Knicks all the time is. Whether how good or bad the team is. Oh, yeah, nah. You know what I'm saying? So take the ball in the back. You take it. Yeah, no, no, no. Yo, I have 40 20. Yeah, but Can you I take get, it. Yeah. No, I don't even ask. You <laughs> won the game. You take the ball. You had a, a historic night, too. Right. I, can, I, I understand that better if you take the ball and go to your locker room. But not me coming Throwing to get to the not me coming, to, coming to get the ball and you toss the shit. That, nah. <laughs> nah. Look at it. Yeah. 
That was that. You fucking with it? Nah, fuck out of here. That's what that shit was. Yo, the only shit that way that shit would have been worse is if if he would have kicked that shit with his long ass leg. Like. Yo, it's that. Yo, listen, <laughs> listen, I would probably yeah. kick it. Because if you kick it, then it's more like I'm excited. Like, oh shit, that, we won. Boom, yeah. real quick. Not catch the ball, hold it, see the nigga walk into you, and then toss it. <laughs> That is crazy. He had to hit him with the keep away, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's crazy. Go get the, he roofed that's, nah, that's, that's when niggas roof your ball in the hood, bro. Nigga roof your ball. <laughs> you ain't, go on, man. Go on, get the fuck yeah, out of here. Get on out of here, man. <laughs> go get a new ball. <laughs> it's my ball, punk. <laughs> I'm like, you scared to go on the roof. Yeah, get the fuck man. out of here. I, I mean, I, I, I don't think, I mean, I hope it wasn't disrespect. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Boy, boy. <laughs> like he's a he's a dog. When he's a dog, yeah. but you know, I, I'm a, I'm gonna give him the benefit word, of the word. doubt. Like the he was excited play. about the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's passion, passion, fire. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yo, we already know. You know, you know, it's March. <laughs> you know what I mean? Final four this weekend. Natty on Monday. Oh yeah. You got UConn looking to go back to back, and. You, See you in these okay. commercials, my G. <laughs> I, I, I text you over the weekend. I said, yesterday's price is not today's price. I said, my man, so I didn't see him with Peyton Manning. You know what I mean? You on the beach and talking. You no, know, I was Eli. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're here. Eli, Eli. Damn, that's, your Eli. That's, that's your quarterback. That's your quarterback. Yeah, damn. That's what, that, this is what I'm saying. This is how you. My, this is how y'all do, man. This is my quarterback, man. It's the total value, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you know. Making yeah. shit happen. But yeah, nah, it's it's on and popping now, man. Like we were talking about last week, man. The the storylines of bananas, you know what I mean. But when you think about your final four runs, you know what I mean, and like those memories, outside of like winning the chip, cutting the net, yo, up newspaper, yo, we did it, baby. <laughs> like we would. What's something that comes to mind from that run? That's like, yeah, you know what I mean. Like that was that was a. Outside of all of that other shit. Outside of the confetti and the right, yeah. yeah. I think we was just hoping. Like we wasn't even like, like I, I, I'm, I'm trying to put myself back in that time. Like, right. But I, I, you know, from what I remember and felt during that time is like, we just came together yeah. at the right moment. It was like shit was just clicking and clicking and, you know, the, you know, after the first game against Manhattan, actually that, yep. that was a, that was an ill game because I, I played against my best friend at Manhattan College, the, Kenny Jasper's. Minor, and we going back and forth about the the game, and we this is back when Nextels and all that yeah. chirping <laughs> each other here in Manhattan. I'm in Chus, like you know, we grew up together, lived in the same house. You know, what I mean, best friends to this day. Yeah. So I'm playing against him, so it's, it's I'm excited about that. And we struggled a little bit, but we picked it up. And then as we go on, it's like, oh, this shit is like, this is tough, man. We, we Auburn and Oklahoma State, like yeah. being down 14 or 15 or something like that at half and to work our way back. And so it was like, yo, we love this. Like we enjoying this feeling. Right, right, and right. then you just, your confidence grow. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's NC State. <laughs> NC State. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they actually won the ACC tournament. Out of nowhere, you know, respect to Kevin Keats and all those guys. And you know what I mean? Like, respect to what they're doing down there. Like, for us, we lost to the Big East, to UConn. That's right. So it was like, nobody yeah. expected us to, people thought we was going to be a first, second round exit. Right. But I'll tell you what, like, as a fan watching them games, what you're saying is ringing true. Because it's like, it looked like, I, like, yo, they locked in. We was locked, we was locked in, you but we was saying? having like, fun. Like, right, that's what I'm saying. We didn't like, know no better. Like, <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? We was, I, I was a freshman. freshman. G-Mac was a freshman. Yeah. Like, we had sophomores. It was on the like, classmen. Yeah, but we also had older guys on the team, upperclassmen who been around and understood how to do what they do and bring what they bring to the team. And I think for us, it was once everybody figured out their role on the team, Right. And, and, and accepted what everybody brings to this team. All right, cool. Yo, you know? yo Hakeem, you're gonna be the you gonna be the the, the shot blocker, the, the dunker. We need you to we need you to turn it up. Offensive putbacks. Offensive putbacks. Are we throwing you the ball? You go to work like, let's go. You let's get to let's get let's go pro. Like yeah. let's let's turn it up a notch. You know what I'm saying? 
Quef Duane, he was more, he was a fourth, you know, fifth year senior or some shit, older guy, you know, been, <laughs> been around the block. He's been, he been a Bay Hop doghouse for, for years over there. So now this is his moment to be like, yeah, fuck you. Like, mm -hmm. I'm here. All that hard work is really actually playing off, you know, paying off. And then you got me just like, happy to be there. Like, I'm, oh shit, like this is what, I'm happy to be there. Oh, this is crazy shit. I'm embrace this. Uh, I'ma have fun, I'ma smile, I'ma laugh, I'ma I'm get to it. And then the more time it goes, you realize I could take this bump, I could do this move. Oh shit, shit is just actually clicking. And then you build on that. So we had a team that was, we came together at the right time. But then when you look back at it, we only lost five games that year. So we were, we were really good. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, when I look back at that team, we were really, really good. We was a well put together right. at that team. Point. It was like all the pieces fit in very, very well. And we had Bayheim who knew how to kind of manage that at, at that point in time. So you look at NC State, like this is, it reminds me of my, of, of my run and our run. Cause it's like, they just having fun and they just enjoying the game and they, but they putting in work. They putting in pain. They yeah. beating teams. They, but they really showing you like this ain't no joke over here. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So that that run is 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 like it's, it's fun to watch. You know, for NC State. You know what I mean? So I don't know. You know, they ACC. So I don't know if you know. I got to big them up just because. But <laughs> you know what I mean? But NC State, like they looking, they looking good, man. And then UConn is just a fine tune machine, like. They the new, they the new dynasty, man. They the new, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like what, what, what Hurley and them boys got going over there is special. They cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, for me, I think they, like they surpassing a lot of all of those big time, like the legendary schools, like <clears throat> North Carolinas, the Dukes, oh, yeah. the UCLA. I mean, UCLA shit comes from. Way back. Yeah, you know, they got a couple recent, you know what I mean? But that's, recent, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, in recent times, yeah, but that's UConn's it come been, back from, they've been from over the that. years. Yeah, nah, but nah. UConn is like, and it's hard for me to say that right now. It's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, very, it's very hard for me to say yeah. that shit. But. Nah, but speaking of that, like you had some battles with UConn, man, obviously. But I've like, never beat UConn. Huh? I've never beat UConn. And that's, that's what I'm saying. So like, <laughs> is that... So it's hard for me talking about UConn right now. You know what I'm saying? So like being a freshman and having like that mix of like underclassmen, upperclassmen, you as a freshman yourself, did you ever think like, yo, listen, man, ah, oh, man. Like, did you ever doubt, like have any kind of doubt during that run? Like, yo, this team is, man, we going up against, they, they, oh, they've been playing together, or yo, they got a squad, or oh, they really hot right now because they've been on a run. You know what I mean? Like. And what was that about? Like, what was that like? You know what I'm saying? And how do you get past that to then go and perform on, on, on that level? When you look at, like, Selection Sunday is big. Like, and, and, you know, like, for us, it was, like, major. Like, you sitting there and you watching the teams and, like, you know, matchups and, like, who's what regions plays a, plays a big part, too. What seed you are. Like, you, you, you really, we were really locked into Selection Sunday. Like, it was... Talk that we may play Manhattan. Mm. So for me, it was like, even it like special because I'm like, oh, I get to play against my man. Like, this is my brother. Like, yeah. like I'm going to kill this thing. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, and he, and he's feeling the same way. Like, he's feeling the same way about me and, and, and what we're doing. So to your point, they looking at us like, yeah, we want Q's. Like, you know what I mean? So to, to, to answer your question, yes, you sitting there like, damn, this... We want we want Q's because we got momentum. We feel like they just lost in the Big East right. to, to UConn. You know what I mean? Like they ain't got no momentum. They so we want them. Right. So it's a lot of teams looking at us like like that. Oh, they on their back foot. They on. Let's get them. Yeah. Like oh, let's get them out of here early. Right? They got freshmen. Let's get them out of here early. Yeah. We looked at teams like Oklahoma, who was number one seeds who had a hell of a year. They had all seniors damn near on their team. Like, so they been through the trenches already. Yeah. Um, Texas been through the trenches already. TJ Ford, who was playing national player of the I'm year. I was about to like, say, yeah, So yeah. it was like, they were all, 
older upperclassmen, Kansas, right, who was all fourth and fifth year seniors and with Kirk Heinrich and, you know what I mean, Nick Collison and those yeah. guys, like it was. All going to the league. It was, they was all number one seeds. Yeah. So we had to run through all of that. And do an AT&T commercial with TJ Ford. And do it. Yeah, that hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt me, man. That's my guy. I told him that. Damn, man. You see how time fly, man? We mature, man. You know what I'm saying? For me to be in a commercial with you, man. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got my MVP, man. Yeah. <laughs> you got my play of the year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that, but that was, that was the run. Like, and it was fun preparing from Manhattan to, I think we play, uh, we play Auburn or Oklahoma State. Yeah. Like it was, you know, like it was fun preparing from game to game right. and then going back to, to, to class during the week and then preparing for the next two. Like the preparation of it was fun for us. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of a college, but, but the women's game, though, because the women's yeah. game, we've been on, we've been, we've been speaking about it for weeks now. This past Monday, arguably, man, one of the greatest moments in like the women's college game, because yo. In sports. In sports, sports. You know what I'm saying? Period. Because like, yo, Iowa, LSU, UConn, USC. They did that right, then. Man, they knew what they was <laughs> they doing. They set that out right. Yeah, they knew what they was what? doing. They was like, Monday? yo, what? <laughs> the script writers was like, yo, you come know what? On, let's let's write a banger. Let's For, write a banger. Forget about it. Bro, That first of all, the, let's talk about Iowa, LSU, because bro, like, I hate to say it, man, because because she's so good. Otherwise, but man, Haley Van Liff, they stall her out. We, we yo, were talking about this. Hey, stall man, out, yo, Haley. Listen, man, you a you a hooper. Stall out, but god damn, man, that's like, a tough like, task. They, like, yeah, nah, hell yeah, that's a tough task. So it's, like, it's, yo, it's a tough yo, task. Man, it like, happens. Like, listen, you gotta. Hey man, she they they she Caitlyn said, yo, I'm gonna throw you. She said, yo, she did the Benny Hanna. Boop, 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 throw the shit in the hat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Throw on a hibachi, bro. Like, cooking them, B. I, I felt like, man, <laughs> yo, I'm going to still out. Because, yo. No, no, go ahead. Because I want to I wanna, I wanna say something to that, too. Cause, yo, because to me, I always, as a fan, man, I watch games and it's like, man, you can tell, man, like, when somebody come out, man. Locked you, in. You lock the fuck in. You can even see sometimes a shoot around, B. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Dog, and when Caitlin Clark came out in the in in the in the in the in the yellow and black Kobe's the Kill Bills the Kill Bills <laughs> yeah the Kill Bills I, I, I just heard the yeah. I said oh she going for forty yeah I turned around to I, my every, to, to my whole living room I said yo she going for forty yeah I better get ready she going for forty and she went for forty one yes <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know what I mean? it's like, hard though champ it's hard bro it's with, but she with, was doing it every way because you talk about yeah, it all the time. It's hard. Three levels. It's hard. It's she got she's shooting from she got a fourth level. <laughs> like she, you know what I mean? She coming off the screen, off the one two, left off the screen at the hash, like beyond the hash fading. <laughs> like Haley, let me like let's 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 give Haley her, her flowers. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Haley, to me, is a dog. Like. She's a dog, Honda. dog, dog, dog. And she's about it. And she loved the big moments. And she take the big shots. And she hit big shots. She loved the moment. She took the challenge. So I got to take my head off to her. But she took the challenge of like, fuck that. You, you going to have to cook me tonight. Yeah. Like, <laughs> fuck it. Like, you going to have to cook me tonight. I'm here, though. Like, I'm still, right. I'm going to be here all night. back every time. Yeah, it's just, and she's small. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to use that as an excuse, but getting over those screens, yeah. Caitlin can see, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a height advantage, for one. And you don't have no help up there in the screen that high up by half court. So what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> you can't get over the screen. Come on. She bop bop and you getting, you know what I mean? Putting you to the screen. You ain't got no help. If I was here, I'd be tight at my teammates. Like, yo, come on, man. Yeah, like, come on, man. Like, I'm up here dolo. <laughs> you got me on the island. What? Getting fried, bro. Don't do this to me. Yeah, I'd have been hot coming to the timeout. <laughs> <laughs> What's the room being lit saying in the timeout? Sometimes she was playing good D. Like, I'm like, oh, she right there. Oh, she's still right there. Oh, ah, damn. 
Yeah, that, yo, that's what that's what it was. Then every it was like, time. nah, she ain't just shoot that one. <laughs> and then it's like, no, she ain't fucking around at all. Uh. <laughs> then it's like, time out, coach. <laughs> what, what, time I want to hear. I want to hear what you saying in that time out, man. Un, un, unfiltered, mellow. If I'm who, Haley? If you're Haley, bro, and they got you out there on the island, you're not getting no help. I'm barking. <laughs> yo, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> I need help, like. <laughs> I ain't gonna keep running through these screens and nobody's right there. Like, where's my big at? Where's my, you see what they doing to me? <laughs> they raising me up higher and higher and higher towards half court. So now if you get hit with the screen, I'm just walking to two or three if I'm, if I'm Caitlin. <laughs> so they should have made that adjustment instead of leaving her out there on the island by herself. I would have put Flo J on her. Mm. Bigger body. You know what I'm saying? Like, Let's go. Let's see. Let's go. So I'm nice. You nice. Like right. Let's, let's see who go. got it. Let's go. So, but what about the coach perspective of it? Of like, yo, I need, I need Flusher to stay out of foul trouble because I yeah. need them. I need them buckets. I need her on the floor. This is where we gotta get smart at. This is where we. This is the, the, the intelligence of the game. And you you gotta know what to do and what not to do. Like you know what I mean. I'm playing against somebody who got the ultimate green light. <laughs> Like, no, the ultimate. Sometimes the coach be like, you know what? I can't fucking shoot that one. Like, just go ahead. Yeah, shoot yeah. one from half. Let's see. She got the ultimate green light. <laughs> so you don't know where it's coming from. And she got dimes. And she got vision. And she hitting you in the open court. We see we seen her do it to Colorado, man, with the dimes. Man, man. like she's like, she, she has the total package. So I would have loved to see Flo, you know, get over there and, and, and guard her sometimes and, and give Haley a break and give her a different size and guard her the whole game. Right. But show her a different. Switch. Switch, yeah. I want some, <laughs> let me get some action. I want some of this action. Let me see, let me see. You know what I mean? Show a bigger, show a bigger guard, you know, bigger wing, as opposed to keep seeing the same guard here, the same person here, here. Right, right. Like, nah, let me see somebody different than Haley Gardner. So we've seen, you know what I'm saying, we've seen, like, you know, obviously young legends in the making, Caitlin Clark, Haley Van Liff, who's obviously, this ain't your last stop. You got a long-ass career ahead of you, you know what I mean? Angel Reese, Flo J, everybody, you know what I mean? Juju Watkins, man, who, who Dame said, he's like, hey, he's like, Juju, like, mellow at Syracuse for real. He said, man, you want to win? Give her the ball, man. <laughs> like that. Just let her have the rock. I saw Juju, baby, all day. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> how you feel about that? Because, yo... Part of rep, a part of your reputation, you know what I'm saying, uh, is is one of the one of the like elite college players of all time, man. Like when people talk about national championships, talking about coming in as a freshman and running through mm -hmm. NCAA to, to the top, like your name is is there. So how does it, what, what's that like? You know what I mean? Have a dude like Dame, who's also future Hall of Famer, mm -hmm. be like, yo, you know what I mean? Comparing. Juju to you, like using you as like that. Cause it's hard to do. And, I, and, and Dame, Dame understands how tough that is to do right. in, in, at, at that level. And college too. Right. Well, and, uh, and one in as a freshman, like you ain't, you, you know, you going from AAU to straight to, <laughs> straight to 50,000, like in the, in the tournament. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so it's, it, I get it. I get why he said that. Like I'm, I watch it. I mean, I've been watching Juju for a long time since high school. Like the work she put in. I know the people that 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 works with her. I know I can watch her and see like, oh, she's putting in the work. Like I'm she is crazy. a, she's she reminds me of Maya Moore a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. she, a little bit. She she reminds me of Maya Moore. Just the mentality. Um, yeah, but I, I love it. Like, I, I'm glad Dave said that shit. You know? like, it's, it's, it's fun. Like, it's fun to see. For me, it's fun to see that type of game kind of translate into, like, the women's game, right? right. Because it looks so good when you're doing it. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, getting to your spots and playing the right, you know, playing the right way, using your shot fake, using your jab, yeah. as opposed to coming down Hezzy 3 every time. You know what I mean? She coming off, she... We know she getting to her right hand. Bop, bop, she don't get to her right hand. But she got options off of that. And because she works on that, she yeah. works on her spots. She knows how to get to her spots. That's very hard to fathom as a, as a youngin. That's hard to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So not everybody have that as a freshman coming into college. Hard to I defend. was fortunate enough to have that 
skill set coming into college, which helped me be able to do what I was able to do because I knew angles. I knew how to use my jab. I knew how to get to my spots. I knew, you know what I'm saying? So I knew when to shoot the tray and when, you know, I, and when not to shoot the tray. In yeah. college, it's a lot, it was a lot different. I got to get to my spot. I got this amount of time to get from point A to point B. Or they collapsing. I got to know where that man is at on the backside if I'm going left. Is he pulling up? Is that big man diving? Is that man cutting? Like, if I got to see all options. So in, as a freshman, I can just play my game. Right. Bayheim put me in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a system that fits me, which I always say, go to, go to somewhere that it fits your game. Right. Don't just go somewhere just to go. So choose fit my game at that point in time. So he knew how to run sets for wings and how to implement me into it, how to implement other guys into it, run plays. He knew what works for us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Juju went to a system that works for her. And she got other dogs on her team. Yo, like, Mackenzie Forbes is nice. Yo. Like she's big wing, big guard. You know what I mean? Can handle. Like she's, she got game. Like they don't have, they got a good team. Yeah, the squad. What excites me is we get to see that for the next couple years, though. Like, yes. As opposed to like we seeing it for six months and then she off, you know what I mean? They off to the league. Like, we get to see what we just saw with Caitlin Clark. Yep. Over the over the next couple of years. Couple years, man. Yeah. Ah, he loves Juju records might be crazy in three years, bro. Oh, bananas. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it's a, and, and it's it's a crap, man, because like, yo, the next upcoming battle is Paige versus Caitlin. That's the final four matchup? Yes, sir. This is what I want to see. Yes, sir. This two, is what I want to see. dogs, man, going at this it. This is what like, I want to see. Because you got to guard me too, Caitlin. Yeah, yeah. 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 You got, so you got to guard let's me, Caitlin. see if you got all that energy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and I'm going to guard you. Because Paige, gonna, she going to guard her. She going to take the challenge. Right. She's going to take the challenge. Yeah. So and I can't listen, wait. I have my popcorn and and, 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 not, and not too much on Haley, but Coronas. But, <laughs> <laughs> and not too much on Haley, but Paige is different. Yeah, no, no, Haley, no, different. Haley did what she can do. Like she, it wasn't much that she can do. Honestly, they put you, they put you in the bag up there, like screen, 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 <laughs> screen, 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 and you by yourself is it's, it's nothing you can do. You know what I mean? It's nothing you can do. It's like guarding Steph with no with, with no big man helping. Yeah, nah, that's like if you just Steph just got to beat one man, like get past this guy right here. Oh, and it's over. That's what that's what that's what the feeling is. Like. <laughs> yeah, that's the, what. It, that's what you see. <laughs> yeah, but I love this page and and, and Caitlyn matchup. I love this. Yeah, this man. reminds me. It's like this is like those Tarasi days, like Yo, UConn, yeah, Maya Moore days. Like you know, you gonna see a, a, yeah. a, a serious. Tennessee, Candace Parker, and them. Yeah. This was my them days. This was what. Yeah, I like this feeling. Yo, this for and, women's sports. And, and yo, listen, man, the 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 whole and we talked about it again last week, man. But it was just like the stories are so compelling, man. Like everything about it, like the personalities, the angels, the the, the Caitlins, the Pages, the Flages, and um. But what what got me after the game was the post game mm. of LSU Iowa and Angel Reese. You know what I mean? She got emotional. You know what I'm saying? These these is these is kids. You know what I'm saying? This is young people. Be you know more. what I'm saying? Like these is young human beings. You she know real. I mean? She real Baltimore too. Kid. For real. <laughs> and she said, "I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times, man. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. Mm -hmm. I've seen. I've been so many things, and I've stood strong every single time. You know what I mean? So I, I heard that, and I was just like, all right." Athletes is, is, it's a time now where everybody got a voice, man. Social media, everybody got a trumpet, a, a megaphone to say whatever the fuck they want to say to, to, to their favorite athlete or least favorite athlete. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, you know what I mean? You got the, the gambling added to it, which it makes it more intense because, you know what I mean? It's money. Every time there's money on the line, mm -hmm. shit is more intense. So my question is like, is, you know what I mean? Because I think about this shit a lot. Is this, and going back to that, Nelly, the, the hardest era to, to rap in. Is this the <laughs> hardest era to be a top level white hat in, in your sport? You know what I mean? Because because of that, because of the, the pressure, the social media, you know what I mean? Well, you can't shy away from it. I just think that, so, you know, 
to whom you know to whom much is given, much is expected. Like I love the fact that she walk around with the crown. Like I, I, I you know what I mean. I love that. You gotta, re, you gotta remember they still young. Like teenagers, they still young women. Like you get what I'm saying. So they still trying to find themselves and trying to figure out you know who they are and and, and try to be still be women and and have a hold up to a certain standard by still trying to be basketball players and athletic and athlete and go compete. So I love that. I love that the way that she exudes that confidence and in, in giving young girls that confidence to go out there and be who you are. So that's that's one thing. Yeah. The other part of it is her game. Like she does what she do. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. She gets it done. No matter how she get it done, she gets the shit done. Whether it's how people like it or not. Somebody may do the same thing and don't say shit. You get what I'm saying? She does it because that's who she is. That's how she grew up. That's how she was taught the game. That's how she watched us come up in Baltimore and people, yeah. in, you know what I mean? Like grow up. This is how we basically taught her the game, how to be. So when you see it as a girl, it's a lot different. And then it becomes, oh, she need to be quiet. Oh, she need to do this. And then now she's making money. It's like, oh, she's too much money. And then she need to not understanding that she's still a young woman that has to go through all of these mental issues and, and still go to college and go to class and still making money as, a, as, a, as an athlete in college. Like, you know what I mean? You making money now. You, you got different decisions. Like people holding you to, people holding you to pro standards right. in college. And them standards, though. Like, and it's, it's tough. It's, it's, it's hard. Yeah. Especially if you are somebody who is, is you're very, you know, you're very, you, you have a, you, you voice your opinion, right? You, you right. wear your emotions on your sleeve. Yeah. You, you, you let it, you, you let it know when, when shit is real. You, you let the coach know, yo, don't keep my name out your mouth. Like you, you get what I'm saying? Like that's, that's who you are. Like, but it ain't coming from an ill will place. It ain't coming from a, you know, a fucked up place. It's just you so emotionally involved and connected to what's yeah. going on that you ain't gonna let nobody play with you. And I get it. I get it. Sometimes she go overboard. Sometimes she do, you know, she do a lot. But most of the times, man, it's, and that shit hits you when you're at that podium and realize this shit is over or I gotta make a decision. Like, am I leaving, going pro? Am I, I gotta make a decision. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's honestly, it's what, because the women's game had never been like this, never been like in the, in the forefront, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With his eyeballs and his ratings and it's, everybody's tuned in. People tweeting, yo, I can't wait to seven o'clock. Like it's, it's like, this is like some real, real big shit. So when you are in the spotlight with that, you ain't used to that. Men are used to that. Not, not to say the difference, but guys, we used to that. We can, we deal with that shit differently. You know what I'm saying? But as a woman who's dealing with that and still got to be who she is as a woman, like you're being attacked about you being a woman, you're being attacked about you playing basketball, you're being attacked about whatever, whatever, maybe your nails, your hair, your make, whatever the fuck it may be. Yeah. That's different than a guy taking that. Yo, Meryl, your hair fucked up, your metal, your braids fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, your beard is dirty. Like you get what I'm saying? Like that's different than- It don't hit the same. It don't hit the same. So when you got to endure all of that and still go out there and compete and still deal with, you know what I mean? So it's a lot of shit that, that comes with that. But, you know, to whom much is given, much is expected. You wear that crown, heavy as a head who wears the crown. You get what I'm saying? So, but we got to still, we can't leave out there on, on the island by herself. Just yeah. because we, she wears the crown and we think she got it figured out. She ain't got it figured out. Yeah, nah, nah, man. Yo, shout out to her though. But with... With you, you had that crown. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I never put the crown and, on, though. You, <laughs> I, you get what I'm saying? I thought how heavy that motherfucking crown yeah. is. I wasn't about to, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, well, how did, how does, I how don't do want you, that crown. Like, how, how do you do it, though? How does, how does, how does Q Smello, you know what I'm saying, handle, like, that fan scrutiny, that media scrutiny, you know what I mean? And, obviously, you know what I mean, Kai's headed, down that yeah. down that path, of, he's different. He gonna have to deal with it totally different than me. He gonna have to deal with it, deal with it. Right. I didn't have to. I had to deal with other type of shit. 
he gonna have to deal with it. Deal with it. Like, <laughs> so is there anything you tell him? Like, yo, like advice? Could yeah, I mean, I, I got to. I got it, but I got to just show him by an example. I got to put him in those environments. I got to see him in those environments to understand how he's going to react in those in certain environments. Yeah. What you going to do when somebody say fuck you and say this about me and say this about your moms and say X, Y, Z, boom, boom, boom. How you going to react to that in the middle of you got to go get a bucket or you got to get a stop or you like how? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's you got. That's a different mindset that he he experiencing it, but he haven't experienced it at that level yet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like he haven't experienced that. Whereas though, like for me, I had to experience the pressures of me being the number one player coming into a, the Big East at the time. That was pressure. Like that was, and for me. <laughs> I didn't even look at it as pressure. It was like, yo, I'm just here. Like, I'm hooping. I'm about to, oh, shit, I'm in school. I'm going, to, I'm going on the quad. I'm going, like, I'm going to do this We got practice tonight. All right, cool. Go to practice. But get back out. But, like, it's, I'm really, like, enjoying a college experience at this time. So I didn't have, I didn't feel the pressure of, like, oh, I have to win because mm. nobody expected us to win. Right. Nobody looked at Cuse that year. It was like, oh, Q's going to be. Powerhouse. They got yeah, this. Nah, they rolled like, to the natty. Yeah, oh, they got four freshmen. Oh, they got mellow. All right, cool. What's going to be? What, whatever. So it wasn't no pressure for me. My son going to have the pressure. And it's mm -hmm. unfortunate. Right. But it is what it is. It's We got to deal with it. What, what, what was it? With greater uh, responsibility? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but, but the good it? thing what? about that is nothing is given to him. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like nothing is like, like handed to him. Like he got to work extra, extra, extra hard. So I'll be proud of him. Like, nigga, you really like I get it. Like I, I, I totally get it. The fact that you go and then it's you get pulled back and you go and you get pulled back and you go and then it's people don't really believe in you and then you got the con the comparisons and like you get what I'm saying. Right. So I, 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 I get that part of. It. But the fact that he is just, it's, we, we take it step by step, man. And the social media thing, too. He seems to be handling it real well. Because it's yeah, like, I mean, this, this, that type of scrutiny is different, bro. Because it was it's like, different. We, didn't face, we didn't face that. You nah, know what I'm saying? Like, I'm yeah. sure he did. Like, I, I can't walk him all the way through it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, as far as, like, like you got you to gotta have some type of experience, too. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you, you on social media all the time. I'm sure you see ass. everything. Nigga, you know shit before I know it. Like, <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? So it's just the way that how, how you decipher. I know you see everything. I know you, you know, you out, you read everything, you active, you I I, I know what's going on. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. it's just different. It's hard for me to be like, yo, you should walk this way and do it this way. Like you 17 years old. So I, my conversations with you is a lot different than it was with you at 14 and right, 15. I mean. Like we got a different level of conversation now. You get what I'm saying? We gotta have a a real comprehension, you know, real comprehension between yeah, both yeah. of us. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? So it's it's like for me that I I own that. Yeah. And I think he's starting to just own the fact that, man, this it is what it is. We're gonna have fun with this, we're gonna enjoy it, we're gonna go hope, whatever niggas say, they say, cool. Like, man, I ain't we gonna figure it out. What if you hit somebody with the 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 I ain't ask your ass to cheer for me. No way you glaze on his face <laughs> ass. What if somebody if he have a if he put him you know what I mean if he have himself a little bag in whatever and if somebody said some shit to him and he just hit him with that boom with that meme like yo is that a proud dad moment that should shut shit with me for me yeah it's a, <laughs> hell yeah and that means that means there's two things that means you you you're aware of the fact like that shit made you feel a way because you do feel a way you right. feel a way about probably having a bad game or you, whatever. So you want to shoot back as quick as possible. If you wait and let it ponder and shoot back, it, it's going to be whack. You yeah, get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So I'd rather you shoot right back. So if somebody, you know, but you got to know what to, you got to know how to do it. You yeah. got to know how far you can go. You got to know what you can say, how to say it. It's cool to shoot back at some people sometimes. Yeah. Like, you been you picking your spots. I gotta yeah, give it to you. Yeah, you been picking I'm, your spots. I'm, I'm, I'm what's the name on Harlem Nights with the one shooter. You efficient. Stop shooting that little ass gun. You know what I'm saying? But these, it's, it's, it's that. Everybody shooting. And I'm just bah, bah, bah. 
38 in the boot. <laughs> Shoot your pinky toe off, you know what I'm saying? Yo, we're taking a brief break from today's episode to let you know that Prize Picks got you covered when it comes to help you make some bread. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The Final Four is happening this weekend. The NBA playoffs is around the corner. Prize Picks is helping us cash in. Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app where you can select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and turn $25 into $250. Crazy. And the best part about it, Prize picks is mad simple to play. I, I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds, B. Prize picks also allows you to pick combo projections across all sports with specials so you can support your teams while still cashing in. That's right. I got a couple projections in mind already. Uh-oh. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, Melo, I got a couple more or less options for you, my mm. guy. You know what I mean? More or less. 40 points for Luka tonight against the Hawks. He dropped 73 last time they played. More. Going over, yes, let's Going go. Going over. Going I like over. it. Aggressive. More or less. Three Defensive Player of the Year awards for Wemby. More or less. More. More. Yeah, man. Come on. See, you see how simple I was, man? Even. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that was light work, man. Be sure to visit prizepicks.com slash 7 p.m. and use the promo code 7 p.m. for a deposit match up to $100. Now back to the show. Yo, Melo, man, what's, what's going on this summer, man? What's the plans for the summer? Honestly, I'm still trying to get to spring, to be, to be honest you. with you. Heard you. Winter ain't letting go. <laughs> no. Nah. So I'm still trying to get to spring. My summertime plans is actually in the workings right now. Word, word, word. Yeah, I'm on the same type of time, man. But, like, to me, one of the most important things about the summertime is staying hydrated, man. And... I know I sound old D. saying this, bro. I apologize in advance. But hydration is crazy important when you're living an active lifestyle. I mean, it's just true. You know what I mean? I got like, I got a million jobs, man, these days, man. I, I got to stay locked in. But Liquid IV got me. You know what I mean? Like, they make things super, super simple for your boy, man. It, it's a pre-measured packet. You know what I mean? Is. Glass of water. Yep. You know what I mean? And they got flavors like green, grape. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. You know this what I mean? is green so, grape right here. So. Whew. Rehydrate yourself for the new year. Grab your liquid IV hydration multiply sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco or get 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com and use code 7 p.m. at checkout. Dog, that's 20% off your first order when you shop better hydration today. Use promo code 7 p.m. at liquidiv.com. Streets is saying, streets is asking. That's a fact. You know what I mean? It's our own way to integrate y'all, the 7 p.m. fam, into every episode. And last week, Y'all bless us with some more great questions. So, of course, oh, you know what I mean? We following up with some more this week. First up, we got Vernon Maxwell Burner. <laughs> Yo, no, that's crazy. Oh, I, this going to be crazy. <laughs> Vernon Maxwell Burner asks, Melo, what are your thoughts on Jalen Green's incredible month of March? Mm -hmm. There went from questions about his future in Houston to people like Bill Simmons saying he's a, he reminds him of a teenage Kobe. Yo. What are your thoughts on Jalen Green? <laughs> Teenage Kobe is wild. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it, he's, he's focused. Balling. He focused. He focused. Responsibility. Man, baby, you're on the way, man. Bills Responsibility. That's all it is. Responsibility makes you lock in. And he's locked in. And he's locked in. I'm like, we're actually finally, you know, hopefully seeing him like hit that curve. Hit that curve. Shorty is locked in. <laughs> Shorty is locked. Like he's, and I pay attention to, I, I watch them a lot because of uh, Cam Whitmore. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I, watch, I watch the game. So, but I'm checking Shorty out. He's just in a different mode right now. That, that, that switch has flipped. You know what I mean? So, hit the clutch at the gas. Yeah, yeah, he's locked in. Like it's, <laughs> It's just different. You see niggas out there, it's like when you could watch it and just see it, like your shorty's locked in. Like yeah, he, yeah. Nah, he, okay, he ain't he's, smiling. Nah, nah, nah. He, he, maybe, he, yeah, he figured it out. <laughs> yeah, or, or he's figuring it out. Oh, yeah, nah. Yeah. For real. He, he's definitely fig figured out what is going to get him to stay in this league. Yeah. And it's always, this is, a, this is the time. This is the right time. What year is this? Third, fourth, third? Third, third, third yeah, yeah. So this is like the time where you got to, who am Stamp I? who you gonna be. Right, right. And he's he's doing that. Shout out to him, man. And shout out to Vernon Maxwell Burner. But what was the question? How dangerous do you think? Oh no, no, that's the next one. 
<laughs> oh, I just gave you my thoughts. My, my bad, Vernon Maxwell <laughs> Burger. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so Go Mavs 214 says, Go Mavs, but go. Go, like like, like, like LSU Louisiana. Style. Yeah, Louisiana yeah, style. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Nola version. The <laughs> Mavericks are 12 and 2 in the last 14 games. I feel like nobody's talking about how dangerous Kyrie and Luka could be in the playoffs. Melo, mm. how dangerous do you think the Mavs could be in the postseason this year? They dangerous. They you dangerous. Got two, you got two? Yeah, guard play. They dangerous. You got to have guard play. That backcourt is mean. Yeah, that backcourt is, is is tough. So you got to have guard play. It's just they. Uh, I don't. I'm not. I don't know if if they have a if it's if it's the fact that they don't have enough, or like what are they missing, or like what do they need, or yeah. like. But it's gonna it, at the end of the day, it's gonna come down to Kyrie and 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 Luca. They the ones. You know what I'm saying? So. You just, it's hard. Like that backcourt is tough as shit, man. You you get them boys rolling, you get Luca doing what he's doing, and you get Kyrie playing the same way, like being locked in. You get them other guys buying in, like they they a tough out. Yeah. They man. a tough out in seven games, man. That was my that was my feeling exactly, man. It's like they they one of them teams that's like, man, they get hot. Kyrie and Luca get hot at the same time. And then like you said, everybody else play their position. Man. J oh. Kid do a great job, man. He do a great job at like like attacking weaknesses and like mm -hmm. you know like like looking at mismatches and and forcing you to make adjustments you know forcing the other team to make adjustments putting guys in position where you can't really help as much or you got to you know what I mean taking the best defender off the ball and like really yeah. like it's almost like a game like a mental game he be he be playing you know what I'm saying point guard shit man yeah but he's always <laughs> he's always been that man he's always been that so for him to bring that that IQ and, and be able to give that to somebody who already had the IQ mm -hmm. and Luca, and then allow Kyrie to be comfortable and confident in what they're trying to do. Now Kyrie is a different player right now. And he's a different of, focus. Like oh, he's yeah, a nah, different nah, nah. focus. Well, they can say whatever they want about him. He's one of the. To me, he's one of the best finishers. Yeah, you know, he's a, he probably the, the best skilled player. You know what I'm saying out there in the league. Yeah, but for sure. Speaking of J. K. Man and his intelligence, man, like what was it like playing with him? You know what I mean? Because, like, he was one of them dudes, man, that, like, I don't know if you remember the old Madden, but they had the QB vision. Yeah, absolutely. And if you had the new Q, if, if your QB was nice, if you absolutely. was Tom Brady, your shit was, was like wild. this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you was JP Lawson, your shit was like this. You know what I'm saying? Shit was pinpoint. You know what I mean? J Kid had the Q, the, the yeah. court vision that was like full court. Full court, man. Like, what was that like playing with a dude like that? Where it was just like, yo, he'll get me to rock. Yeah. He knows my spots, you know what I'm saying? I Part caught him life. I caught him later. You know, J. Kid was turning 40 when I caught him. And even then, bro, he but was his, like it was sharper. Like his 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 intellect was sharper. Like I learned more from his his intellect than I did anything else. Him understanding the game, him seeing the game two, three plays down the line and and playing like I, I learned the game within the game, playing the game within the game. Like how to play chess within the game. How to be patient, how to how to use pawns and like move placements and and, and then win the win the attack. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was I I learned the the mental game and the intellectual game from from J Kid. Uh I mean in early two thousands he was one of my favorite point guards. Like it was no point guard in the, in, in early two thousands nah, 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 in New Jersey, J Kid was the best point guard in the NBA. It was him. That was it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like and and what he was able to do with that team, Kmart and Richard Jefferson, and you get what I'm saying, yeah, like like dog. Van Horn and Keep it, <laughs> <laughs> like it was uh yeah That's Kerry Kittles, finals, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Kerry Kittles over there, like it, they had a really Aaron Williams was Kendall over there, Kittle. you know Kendall <laughs> Kittle, Kittle Gill got you know he a kickbox or something like that. Yeah. Did I? Yeah, you do kickboxing. Oh, like, shit. Shut the kid to go, man. Start, start, start him out now. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how to do kickboxing. That's all I got to say about yeah, that, nigga. Kick, I don't know if he's a boxer or kickboxing. He doing some type of you martial art. fucking niggas up. That's fucking what he's doing. <laughs> warning, warning. Warning, warning. warning. But Come nah, J, J. Kid was that. Like, he was, he's always been that, which is why a lot of point guards always look like he was like your favorite point guard, favorite point guard. Right. Like, he's been that guy because he was, he was a big guard. 
He had speed. He had quickness. He, he had his vision was was incredible. Yeah, like it was. He knew he knew how to play with certain guys on the court. Yeah, he knew what Kmart needed. He knew what Richard Jefferson needed. He knew what these guys needed. Like yeah. he he led them to that championship. Oh, 100%. you know what I'm saying? Along with those Kmart and those guys, but J. Kidd was the was the vision behind that. And I'm sure those guys will tell you the same thing. He's one of the smartest minds in, in the history of the game. 100%. Yo, free bread. <laughs> free bread. We got free bread 94, though. Free bread 94. Free bread 94 said, yo, yo, Melo, my family from OKC, so we always watch Thunder games. Okay. And I remember that one time you was knocked out. Damn, that's what you floor. remember? <laughs> All right. Nah, he's like, yo, you had, that one time I had 40. Nah. He said, were you just showing up the refs or were you really knocked out? That also, was crazy. did you cuss J.L. Smith out for, <laughs> for almost joking. stepping on you? <laughs> Yo, now nah, I was out. I was really out cold. Like <laughs> That was crazy. Yeah, I was out cold. Because people like, thought you was fucking around. Nah, hell, I don't even know how to flop. So why would I want to be on the floor? You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't even know how to fall on the floor. Like, I don't want to be on the floor. <laughs> so <we> just... <laughs> Fuck it. And then let JR jump over, like skip over me? Nah. I don't want to do that. I don't know. This ain't a comedy skit. Nah, so uh, Free Bread 9-4. I was actually out. Like I went left, like drove left on, on, on KD. What, what and, like, hit you hit, that? Like his, his, like his hip bone. Oh. I ran into like his hip bone and it like hit me in like my, what is it? Your temporal. Your temple, yeah. What, your temporal. Not your temple. Oh, the oh, okay. Oh, shit. That's Your like, temporal. That's some new shit. Yeah, nah. yeah I, I, I learned that term a while, a little bit ago. But I got hit in the temporal, and I blacked out. Immediate. Lights yeah, out. Lights out. I don't know where I was at. <laughs> that's crazy. And, you know, then they told me, they tried to say I was concussed. I went to the back. I passed a concussion test, and I was just like, what happened? Like, what happened? <laughs> I don't know what happened. Yo, that's crazy. And then I started, we went back and watched the film. Once everybody found out I was cool, like, oh, you good? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, I right, bet, bet. That kind of like relieved the room a lot. Right. Then they started telling me what happened. I'm like, let me watch the film. What happened? Like, I don't even know what I'm hey, watching the film. Dog, you was out there. Switch over there like this with. <laughs> I think it's JR. You did the Super Mario <laughs> show. <laughs> I mean, like I, that my shit son was great. about to buck. He said, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm getting these two. He said, my guy is down. <laughs> I got to go lead. Man I got to go do what I got to get him down. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> next so, man up. Next man up. But I don't, I, I, he probably thought I was bluffing too. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Like he, because he kept playing. So he probably thought I was bluffing. Going to take my time to get up. And <laughs> I was really the fuck out of it. Crazy. And when I watched the film, it looked even crazy. They was they ran up and down like two, three times. Yo, and you was down there making snow angels, and they didn't give a fuck. It, it, <laughs> All I seen was darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I see the way All I see the is darkness. So Yo. yeah, that's what that. I, I, and no, I didn't. I didn't curse. I didn't curse Jr. Out. By the time the end of the game and everything calmed down, it was more of a laughing matter. You know what I mean? Everybody had questions. Yo, you was really out or you was bluffing? What was going on? So that, that's why I didn't get a chance to cuss Jay out. But it do look wild on film. Hey, yo, it look crazy. <laughs> that's a fact. We're going to go to CU. Hold on, hold on, hold on. CU Buff fan. All right, Colorado University Buff, Buffalo's fan. CU Buff fan 720X. Melo, I've been rocking with you forever, but I got a question. Okay. Why did you pump fake the jump in Brooklyn that night? Were well, you really going to shoot it? Because you went up like oh, more than halfway with it almost. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was, it was like a... But it wasn't my night. It right, wasn't right, my right. moment. You right, know what right. I'm saying? I was there for D-Wade. I've been a hiatus for about 14 months. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really want to go to the game. Like, I ain't want to be seen out. You get what I'm saying? Right. It was just one of the moments like... Your brother's like, come on, nigga, you like, come on. Come on, stop playing. We, you, 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 you doing this. I'm like, nah, nah, champ, I'm in the crib. I don't, nah, man, I don't this is my last hurrah, man. Come on, come on. I don't want to be outside. Nah, I, come on, man, stop This was at the time where I was going through all the shit from Houston. Like, it was like, yeah. nah, I ain't coming out. Like, I ain't, I ain't ready to be seen by the people. Like, I don't, 
I ain't ready for that. Right. You get what I'm saying? I ain't really complete with myself to be able to face that. Like emotionally and mentally, I wasn't ready mm. to face that. Like be out and you know what I'm saying? I just didn't know what was the reaction was gonna be. I haven't been around people that was like my, you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. I'm getting calls, metal pull up. I'm not, I'm sorry, bro. Nah. And then I thought about it. I'm like, yo, nah, this is, these moments don't happen often. Right, yeah. All right, so we, you know, we gathered up the troops, all of us, you know, got together and figured it out and made it work for D Wade. So it was his night. It wasn't my night. Just so happened the ball came over to me. I'm like, oh, the game still love me. Yeah, <laughs> ball, yeah. Hey, listen the to the ball don't lie. The ball found me. The ball game, don't lie. You know what I mean? It's like the game, the game still love me, man. Yeah. <laughs> the, game, the game still gonna love me, B. Yeah, <laughs> still gonna love listen, me, man. B. <laughs> so yes, I, you know, I, I didn't wanna, if I would've missed it, that would have been, been on my, you know what I mean? Hey, like, yo, it been man, that's why, that's crazy. why Houston got rid of this bum ass nigga, nigga, <laughs> old nigga. <laughs> They'd have been on me if I'd have missed it. This wash ass nigga, man. Niggas washed, nigga. Wide open three, nigga, missed that shit. Hit a shot. I got a hoodie in the, in the varsity on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get the full attention, man. Yo, <laughs> it's no mercy. <laughs> so, 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 I ain't got a uniform on, and they, yeah. they'd have killed me if I'd have missed it. Yo, but uh, on the other side, you drain that motherfucker. That's a that's a meme forever. That's another collection it to the mellow meme. That'd have been the first thing. Yo, Brooklyn Nets with your son, man. Son, that nigga, man. <laughs> so play. Take nah. that, that nigga, man. Nah, I knew the moment. I knew. I knew what the moment was. I knew what was happening. I knew, you know, what I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't for me. Yeah. It wasn't my night. Hey, but you did tell me at that Spurs game. You was like, yo, I'm good for like 16. You know what I'm saying? Which, by the way, shout, <laughs> shout out to TD. Shout out to one of our producers, TD man. He uh, he put in the, in the chat. Uh, this day. Uh huh. You drop fifty on straight midi pulls like. Oh, this a Miami game. Like yeah, like straight water. N hit niggas with the dream shake at one point. Like <laughs> I, I, I turn around, splash. Like uh, you know what I mean? What the, the fuck is that like? Cause listen, bro. A zone. I, I, talk about it, cause a lot of people don't know what the fuck that means. Like they see, they hear yo, you in the zone. I know what that means as a performer. Like you just kind of like. Yeah. It's you just. You got the blinders on, man. All you see is like that goal. Whatever, mm -hmm. whatever that goal is, that's all you see. But talk about that, man, because yo, you was the announcer was like Carmelo Anthony <laughs> again. He doesn't miss. He's on fire. NBA Splash. Jam. Yeah, he's going crazy. Splash. He's the boom shaka waka. All that shit, bro. He's going yo. I said, bro, this motherfucker love Melo, baby, because he's like. Yeah, we was there. We was on the road too. Yeah, that when you got the road announcers on your yeah, joint like that, like the, uh, the road my announcers. Goodness. <laughs> There was a lot of Knicks fans in there that, that, that day. That was a home game, though. It was a home game. <laughs> it was a home game. <laughs> and Ron had the hamstring. He was talking about, yo, I got it. Yo, bro, yo, I ain't playing, man. I got the Yeah, they was chilling. They was cooling. <laughs> like, they the, was cooling. He had the Royal Oak and the fucking blaze on. They yeah, go on yeah, the bench. Yeah, like. yeah, You know, I kept saying, oh, ooh. 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 <laughs> ooh. Part of that. Part of that. This nigga cooking. <laughs> like, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. my brothers. I love, I love them boys, man. Yeah. But yeah, that was, you know, damn, uh, it just, how many years ago was that? Oh, man, 11 years. That's crazy. To the day, you know what I'm saying? Time is, time yeah, ain't yeah. waiting for nobody, bro. Yeah, was, was time that is flying. Yeah, hey, listen, bro, my oldest son just turned 13, dog. I'm like, yo, you a teenager, bro. That's time crazy, is flying. Bro. I'll be 40. Hey, right here, B, right here. <laughs> Right here, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, look, Turks and Caicos, right the invitation to you, boy, we there. You I, need a, I need a week of, of just getting away and just you know what I mean? meditating and do some mindfulness <laughs> once I hit 40, man. <laughs> you, gotta, yo, you gotta get right. Yo, but that midi game, bro, was legendary. And it's like, people know you, you know what I'm saying, as a dude with like infinite moves, B. You know what I'm saying? So like, what's your top three you know what I mean? Your top three moves that you like, yo, when I'm in trouble, mm. I can go to A, B, or C, and how did you master them? Top three moves. Because not to cut you off, we already heard Kai be like, yo, man, I hit him with the little hezzy pull, try to get a foul. <laughs> <laughs> what's, your, what's your top three? You know what I mean? Like, oh, man. I think baseline fade. On the left block, fading baseline, like left shoulder fade, I would say that. Left shoulder fade, 
Um, as he pull all day, <laughs> and I um I would say my one dribble pull up, like my jab one dribble pull up. The jab step, oh, man. Listen, yeah, y'all, y'all remember that Easter game? Yeah, that would be yeah, that would be the three. As he pull the jab one dribble pull up left or right, and then fade left shoulder. How did you? Was that like the the yo? I'm gonna practice my spots. Is that how you mastered it? It was it some. Was it working out with a certain somebody? You know what I'm saying? So was it the ones with Mike. <laughs> <laughs> no. So as a me watching me studying the game, I always like I watch the way I watch players was certain players was how they added shit to their game throughout right. the course of their career. Right. And, and, and what was effective, you know, throughout the course of their career. Right. So if you look at like an MJ and you look at Cole and you look at like they was more towards they was more fade baseline, you know, I mean, have spin fade like they was, you know, Dirk and whiskey was two dribbles fade off of one leg. Like it was it was all of those. So they was go to moves. Right. So I, fig- I I needed a go to move instead of just trying to be down there and bully and this you know what I mean like yeah my 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 face up my jab was was kind of like my special move at that point I did everything out out the jab and off of two feet and you know being able to jab but I didn't have a like my one I could, my one dribble was was right you get what I'm saying but I needed like now counters to counters right, right. one dribble pull up right or left that's that's the first initial move jab go but when i can jab go one dribble and spin back and fade or i can jab one dribble half spin fade back off of one it's like now you putting a counter to a counter so now you just and 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 training and working out you just doing moves and seeing what what actually works and then you might i found like this fade away i'm like oh damn this shit work like oh okay (laughs) <clears throat> but I also needed a move because I used to get stri- I used to get the ball stripped out of my hands a lot when I was young, early on. A back down, <clears throat> I wasn't as strong as some of the guys I was guarding. So every time I fade or I turned around, they would slap the ball. They would swipe the ball on my hands, and I never could figure out why. And like I think it was like Catino Mobley. It was like the guy who made me really like. Oh, I can't play with this little nigga. Like, I got to bang, bang, and turn baseline or bang, bang, and shoot fades. Be, be quick and precise with that. So <clears throat> I, I started learning, you know, taking the fade the, the, over the left shoulder and just right. started working on it and working on it and working on it. And every single day, <clears throat> I would do five, you know, two, f- two spots and just work on it and work on it both ways, both ways, so I can do it and mirror that on both blocks. So that was one of them. My first step, I always knew I had a quick first step. So my thing was just to perfect my jab and short jab versus a long jab, a straight jab versus a back jab. Like, you know what I mean? Like a step back jab. What was my jab series going to be? If I jab right and you cut me off, can I be able to do, am I able to go left, make a move or come back right, right? Like I got, I had to learn counters to counters, which is why I always was working in like these phone booths type of spaces, you know what I mean? And then the Hezzy pull, honestly, the Hezzy pull came more like when I came to New York, almost in a sense. Yeah, no. You know what I mean? Because I started shooting more, more threes. threes. Yeah. It's like, you know, coming to New York and the game is changing and the game is getting faster and the game is about shooting more threes now and the stretch fours and so you got to shoot threes. Did you like that? I love that. You know what I'm saying? Because you're a shooter. That was the best, I think that was one of the best things that ever happened to me. Like me playing a stretch four. Here at the Knicks, it was, it was, and I, I wanted that because at first I fought it. I'm like, I'm not no four, I'm not no stretch four. Like I play it in the Olympics just because I ain't, you know what I mean? Like, I, it's easy over this shit is you know a lot different. But I'm not coming. There. I'm not coming over here to to bang out with them. With them, I'm not doing that. With David Wesley, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not the Garnets, and I'm not. I'm not. I don't want to do that. So I'd rather be. At this time, these are real fours. Career. These are real fours. I'm not going out there with y'all. Zach Randolph. No, 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 no. I'm not going to <laughs> Boogie Cousins. And no, like, see, at nah. this time, the Boogie Cousin, you know what I mean? Like, nah, I, I'll do it. That, that but I, you can't, awesome. I, I can't do that every single night and then go try to win. Like, it's just. Come on, dog. 
No. Nah. Them dudes t- offensive line. Why am I down end. anyway? Why? Why am I begging? Mark the salt. Yeah, I'm cool on that, Jeff. I'm cool. So, you know, once I once I kind of understood what the stretchful situation was, I'm like, ah, now I can get, oh, this is the way I can get easier shots. I can get more wide open shots as opposed to having to go get it all the time. I could let Raymond Felton and those guards come off and kick back to me. And now I'm catching you closing out. Now it's better for me to go one-on-one on the closeout as opposed to just coming down, throwing it to me every time. And I like that type of shit. But now I got I to gotta smarten up because right. everybody else is, is smartening up. Ye underscore free 20. When you're in the city, what's your go-to order at the deli? Oh. What city? Oh, it's only one city. Hey, right? But the, the, they call itself the city out there in the Bay Area. True. I'm assuming they mean New York. You know what I mean? This is 7 p.m. in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, when you're in the city, what's your go-to order at the deli? You go. If I'm just like, you know what I'm saying, trying to, you know what I mean? I'm, 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 a, I'm a little bit, you know what I mean? We, we, ain't, we ain't teenagers no more, so we can't be doing the, the bacon, egg, and cheese, extra ketchup, salt, pepper every day. Okay. You know what I mean? So I do a little turkey and cheese, you know what I'm saying? The little sausalito turkey, you know what I mean? With the cheese, little lettuce, tomato. Okay. Salt, oil, vinegar, you okay. know what I mean? Little bing, bing, bing. And then I started drinking um, salsa. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, right. water. You know what I mean? Just, go for, you know, go for the gut. Healthy shit. Go for the gut. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? For the probiotic shit. Go you know what I mean? Ain't probiotic ain't no probiotics shit. probiotics in that. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I try to guess it. You put that shit real soon. There ain't no probiotics in the salsa water. Out of Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> you got to put the IVs in there. <laughs> Make a smart <laughs> lemonade. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Now, I go with the... <laughs> It depends. I'm still a turkey, big egg, and cheese, like on a croissant. Like, that goes crazy. Yeah, like no. light butter and jelly, lightly toasted and all that. Like I'm, I'm that. Then if I want a, a hero, I'll go to turkey and cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, oil, light vinegar, salt, pepper. All chopped up though, Brrr, chopped up. Oh yeah, all yeah, chopped yeah. up. Okay, you know okay. what I mean, Hibachi yeah. style. Yeah. Then throw it back in the in the hero. Ooh. But you gotta rip the, the you gotta rip the bread out in the middle, like the middle part of the hero. Oh, scoop the shit out. Yeah. And yeah. a baguette, you gotta rip the bread out. Yo, throw the rock hey, up yo. in there. <laughs> I cannot, listen, I know, you gotta man. put all all together though. Well, mellow come through. I know. Nah, like, I'm yo. telling you. You can put whatever, you know what I mean? You can do chicken, do chicken cutlets, you know, chicken cutlet, yeah, oh, chopped up, lettuce, tomato, oh, the, the salt, wood. pepper, Ooh. cheese, you know what I'm saying? All your vinegar and all that, all chopped up into one. That's Mayo, your throw in there, rip the bread out of baguette, toast it. That's just stick to your rib. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, oh, you gonna be a fuck, you gonna get a deli, man. Yo, word. <laughs> Yo. Shout out to Terrence Rivers 31, who asked, on Easter, I kept seeing posts about Melo's game winner in the Garden against the Bulls in 2012. So my question is this, what's Melo's favorite game winner and what's your favorite game winner that you witnessed from somebody else? So like- Oh shit. Yeah. (sighs) What's my personal favorite game winner? Like. Man, that's a good question. It's a, it's a couple, man. It's a, it's a lot it's to a choose lot. from. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's like, it's a, it's a lot to choose from. Not, not, it's not like, you know, I guess no cap. Like we, we, just, we had Jada here, you know. We yeah, got the just, line. Similar to Melo when it comes to the game winners. Right, he said that for a reason. <laughs> but I would say like, like early on, the, the one in Cleveland against Braun, that was a, mm. that was a fun one. Right. You know what I mean? That was like a fun Fun game winner. Um, Dallas, when I, Dallas in, in the playoffs, when they say they try to foul me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that was, that was a good one. I don't know, man. I, 
would say that. I would say that the Brown one because that was just the, the the magnitude of that game and right. the height of that game and what 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 came along with that game. Uh, that was always. I mean, that would be kind of my top one. It was other ones in Memphis. His Tony Allen. He was talking shit to me. <laughs> And Tony Allen, but that he was a good, into a man yeah, shit. he did. That was that was a good, that was a good, you know, good, good competition right there. Um, I had one in Houston. Uh, OKC was a good one in the corner. I, I remember that one, OKC. There yeah, was some some good ones. Toronto. Oh, I had yeah. one in Toronto. Actually, two in Toronto. All right, now you flexing on us. Bro. Now I'm saying that. <laughs> now I'm like two and a six. <laughs> it was two and a six. <laughs> now it was two yeah. and a six. It was two and a six. All right, so who's your who? who uh, what is your favorite game winner from somebody else? Ooh, like seeing, watching. Yeah, like, yeah. Watching. It will have to be Kobe. Against the Nuggets, against us, early on, like my first or second, first is first year, second year, and he flew off the helicopter. Like he he was in Colorado for you know what I mean, and he came through on the helicopter. And he came with his uniform already on, and that game hit the game winner. The cop to like Bobby Brown with the over with fucking the, who the fuck was that? Who the fuck was that? Uh. I think it was like John Barry or somebody like that. Like, <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> it was Yo. like John Barry. Like I think Earl Boykins was with us. Like they, you know what I mean? It was yeah. like it was a lot of shit that game. The game was packed. It was loud. It was obnoxious in, in that fucking Pepsi Center. And Cole come walking in with the cutoff Lakers, you know what I mean? Warm up and shit like that. It's loud. It's fucking. He I, he not even warmed up. <sighs> Nigga came right in. Straight sick. out the tunnel, nigga walked in. Like, straight out the, straight out the tunnel. <laughs> it's booze. It's all types of cheers. It's booze. And we tell it. We tell I'm trying to remember this shit. I remember coming to the huddle, man. And we're telling, like, John Barry, like, yo, stay down. Like, don't go for the shot fake. Like, don't go for the shot fake. Go, bop, bop, get to a spot. One, two, dribble, shot fake. Uh, stay down, uh, my uh, God. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, yo, as soon as, it, soon as he jumped. I said, man, you couldn't ask for nothing. Like, it, this was written already. Like, right. that's when I knew shit just be written. Right, right, Like, right. it was written for him to get off, to get off that fucking plane, to come walk in there, uniform on, have the, the cutoff sleeve jersey. I mean, it warm up with the purple stripe down the side. I remember that shit like it was yesterday. There go crazy. <laughs> and shot fake. Shot <laughs> fake, John Barry. Out of this universe, nigga. Like, damn, man. <laughs> but that was my guy, though. John Burry's my he, he was my guy. That's the JP, man. Yeah, he was my guy, man. Yo. Oh, shit. We got more? Yo, shit, yeah. Nah, this is the last one, I think. Okay. Rick with a K. Strickland asked. April Fool's Day just passed, and my girl, oh, shit. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, shit. You, you, my girl and April Fool's Day don't go together. Yeah, not her, man. <laughs> not I, at all. <laughs> April Fool's Day just passed, and my girl thought it'd be funny to joke around and say she found someone else and was leaving me. I didn't find it funny at all. Now she's mad at me for being pissed at the joke. Am I wrong for being upset? <laughs> 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 Yo. I'll, yo. I'll, I'll, I'm going to read the question to myself so I can try to break it down. You know, problem solve this real quick <laughs> while you give your answer. Yo, listen, Rick. April Fool's Day is a day for jokes, man. So if, and it's every year. <laughs> it's not like it's every five years, my nigga. Like, it, you don't forget April Fool's Day. It's every year, my G. It's April 1st. <laughs> the first of the month. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's inevitable. <laughs> so anything that your shorty say to you on that day, I'm pregnant, I'm leaving you. <laughs> All April Fools me. Oh, like, it's don't. all April Fools, bro. No, it's Anything not, bro. that's crazy. No, it is not. Like, it's all cap. Like, no, don't April Fools me like that, bro. But it's, yeah. But I'm already Hell knowing. No. Like, yo, you lying, bro. Like, you can't even, you smirking. Why are you saying this shit? Like, Why I even go to that extent, though? On the April Fools, like. Give me, shit. like, yo, your shoe's untied. Like, April Fools. Like, yeah. give me, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> give me some basic. Give me some basic shit. I don't know what it is, man. People be wanting to make you panic on April Fools, man. Like I don't know what and it then is. Do you expect me to be cool after that? Like, 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 yo, let's just go to brunch after this. Yo, I got, a, I found the man. I got a new man. <laughs> what? I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, yeah, nah, 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 don't even react to it. I bet. <laughs> Start packing your shit and walk out and see what. That was the same fools. I just went. Oh, and say, no, 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 Gina, no, Gina. <laughs> Gina. Gina. <laughs> I did, Gina. <laughs> no, that's a fact. But no, nah, that's yeah. crazy. You, 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 man, you, you have the right to be tight. Like, you was. Come on. If it, listen, I. Right. Yeah, you, you could be tight at that. Like, yeah, yeah. But you got to get over it quick. Yeah, no, nah, you gotta get over it. By dinner time, you gotta be done with that. I think a pregnancy joint is more is less, because that's like obvious. But yo, I got a new man. That's like you trying to make me mad. You, yeah, know you want me to be mad. You want me to be mad. Like you like you <laughs> so trying here, to get here me. Here we time. are. Okay. You want me to be mad. I bet. Cool. Nah, I'm mad. Thank you. All right. Ain't cool. fools. Nah, cool. Nah, I'm still mad though. <laughs> nah, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Yo. Nah, I'll be tired. I ain't, you know, Rick Strickland, man, you, 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 you're not wrong for being upset, but you do got to understand that it's April Fool's champ. So it's on you that you actually went for the joke. And I don't know the, you know, the extent of y'all relationship or what's going on, happy or not. But <laughs> if you happy, then you should know that she getting you, dog. That's cool. all. Now, if you unhappy. If man. you unhappy, I don't know what the fuck she playing April Fool's on <laughs> 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 So, yeah. nah, you're not wrong for being upset, but you got to be aware. You got to have self-awareness to understand that it's April Fool's, Jack. Come on, man. Hey, listen, man, 7 p.m. in Brooklyn. Y'all know what time it is. America's favorite segment. Fucking with it or fuck out of here where we discuss, you know what I'm saying, pop culture, sports, all type of things. And we figure out <laughs> if we fucking with it or if it's a fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? And first up, we got Mike Greenberg of ESPN, uh -oh. who was so impressed with the UConn Huskies, man, in the Final Four run that they had. <laughs> he said that that current squad, yeah. that UConn Husky squad right now, could go to the NBA and make the Eastern Conference Finals. I mean, the Eastern Conference Playoffs, my bad, right now. He didn't say the Finals. He said the Playoffs. Now, if he would have said the Finals, I would have said, said, nah, you smoking that pack. He could make the Eastern Conference Playoffs. playoffs right now. The that, so he's saying that they can win. <clears throat> they can win. What's eighth seed, ninth seed in, in the East right now? Forty wins. At so least. you think UConn could win forty something games in the NBA? Is it forty? Is it close? Yeah. Yeah. Forty. You On think the... UConn could win? Say play in. Give them the play in. Right. You think they could win thirty five games? Fuck out of here. In the NBA? Man. Fuck out of here, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, yeah. listen, man. Look. 35 and, games in the NBA. So this, the, the, disrespect, the disrespect. No, you go first. I'll tell you. You go first. Yeah, yeah, look, look, it's going to have me sick. It, uh, but wait, it gets worse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Paolo Ben Carroll did an interview with Complex Sports where he said a college team couldn't win a game against the NBA, against the NBA Could team. Could or couldn't. Could, could not. not. So he went the other way. Greeny said... Absolutely. This UConn team goes to the NBA, they're at least making the playoffs in the Eastern Conference. Damn. Paolo Bancaro said, hell no. Get the fuck out of here. There is no college team that's winning against the NBA team. These guys are pros, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's not, let's not, let's not get it twisted. Are, are you fucking with the fuck out of here? Right. So I'll the, give so, you my answer. So the question overall is, is a college national champion, could a college national champion be a playing team in the NBA playoffs. And, and you threw it to me, I'm going to say off rip. Fuck out of here, bro. Like, absolutely not. I don't care how good you are. If you got the best recruiting class, you still college players, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's a different... The NBA is... I ain't yeah. got to tell you, champ. Come nah, on, the NBA like, is, is... is is That's the league. That's a man's league, no matter how young guys come into the league. It's still a man's league. It's like... <clears throat> no boys allowed. Like that's NBA. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the thought of like being a professional NBA. That shit is hard to get there, man. <laughs> these guys that's there, that's nice as shit that don't get in the game on some of these teams. Facts. Who can't find their way, but they are talented as shit. Like, 
Hell no. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck like, there's here. no, and UConn is a phenomenal team. Great. Phenomenal team. That ain't no a- college team. You go, go, Purdue ain't coming over there. None of these teams is coming to the NBA. So let's stop the bullshit. <laughs> like, for sure of- enough, let's stop the bullshit. You can't. <laughs> Come on. No matter how good, UConn is a very, very high powered machine. Yep. And on a collegiate level. Yep. They have pros, but on a collegiate level, they are high power. Come on, man. But they're getting fried by the Timberwolves, bro. Come on. They I, a top. That's a top team. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo. Like, that's a top team. You talking you about, me? like, you look at, like, I'm, you know, you looking at the bottom of the, because they said playoffs, so you look at teams underneath of that. Oh, man. <clears throat> like, Absolutely hell no. Fried, Philly's dude. an eighth. Philly is cooking, y'all, man. Like, listen, respectfully. Chicago was a, a Chicago would punish you, <laughs> Charlotte. That's crazy. That's a crazy thing to say, man. Paolo's right. Yo, yeah, Paolo's are bugging, right. Man. Like, they bugging. Like, <laughs> the fuck out of here, dog. Small greeny. <laughs> <laughs> mad, dog. He must be was mad when he said that. Yeah, word. <laughs> he got caught up in the moment. But I respect what UConn is doing. But fuck out of here that they ain't, well, they ain't, we ain't making it to no, no playoffs. <laughs> Come on, this is NBA. Nah, this is NBA, champ. So, now we got off of that one. <laughs> That just pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> so Offset recently stopped by Club Shay Shay. Oh, baby. Uh, during this conversation with Shannon Sharp. Uh, the idea of ranking rap groups came up. Offset said the following. <laughs> these are the best. Basically, these are the best rap groups. Right. And Migos at two. Uh-huh. He would put Wu-Tang at three. He would put Outkast at one. He would put The Locks. At four, Migos is the second greatest group of all time. Are you fucking with it or fuck out of here? All right, man. All right, look. This is this is this is a fuck out of here, but this is a respectful fuck out of here because okay. I, I fuck with the Migos. I love their whole catalog there and there. Fair. I think so. I right, I'll say it like this: music is art, right? And art is subjective. So, me growing up. In the Bronx on the East Coast, you know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up Mob Deep, Wu Chang, you know what I'm saying? Like, Tribe Cold Quest, you know what I mean? Biggie, you feel me? Like, that was my world mm-hmm. as far as hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And it's not like it is now, because back then it was mixtapes and shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, cassettes, mixtapes, all that type of shit. Like, so would I put them at number two? Probably not, you know what I'm saying? Because I got, like, you know, Mob Deep in there. I got, you know what I'm saying, like, groups like Run DMC, you know what I'm saying, like, okay, damn, dog, I don't know, man, I don't so even, you, like, the locks, the locks to me is top three, you know what I'm saying, and you they, put them four, you know what I mean, and, and, and he got them fourth, so, just off, off, off that, and then, you also dip set, you know what I'm saying, like, there's a lot of, and it's a, but it's East Coast, <laughs> New York, you know yeah. what I'm saying, like, type of, type of bias, I'm sure if you ask somebody from the Bay, They'll say some c- completely different list. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what it is. Absolutely. It's fuck out of here for, for me personal. It's a personal fuck out of here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, not to take it personally, but not it's a personal. Not personally. It's just my per- personal, personal opinion. Fuck out of here. Right, yeah, right. yeah. So you fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, all day. I'm going <laughs> to have to go with, I'm not going to have to go, but I'm going with fuck out of here because as much success as Migos has had, oh. is having, will have, whatever. It's just so much that came before. Like, it's, it's groups that came before. Like, niggas who was really riding, putting in work, and, and doing what they got to do and putting on. Not saying Amigos is not. They're they a hell of a group. Oh, yeah. Like, they may be one of the best groups of, of all time, but this generation may be one of the top groups. Of, right, yeah. Like, the, of the now. Of yeah. the now. So, when you start talking about the locks, Start talking about Mob Deep, Come on. Outcast. He put Outcast up there, Wu Tang, NWA. Like, you start going the clips. Oh. Like, these are like no limit. Like, these are groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Cash Money is groups. Like, these are. The Hot Boys, man. The hot, yeah. You know, with dip sets. Like, these are, these are actually groups. The Dungeon Family and all. Like, 
you know, I get I get what he's saying though. Like they should be up there with in those conversations as one of the best. You got uh, you got fucking Bone Thugs. Oh yeah, damn. See, see, and that's what it is. Like, you know you what I'm it saying? Goes like so you, far back it goes like, back. Yeah. G Unit. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> these are groups. Yeah, man. So I yeah, I mean, I I, I think Migos and them is is definitely one of the top groups. I love what they're doing, yeah. but as far as it, like putting them into the grand scheme of things, two, it's tough. It's tough. B. The on, locks we, four, you know that that's that's tough. I tell you but what, I, if, I fuck. With, I mean, I fuck with Outkast being. You know, I fuck with yeah. those guys being on the list. Oh yeah, but it's just the order of the shit. The, yeah, <laughs> it's a little crazy. Yeah, yeah, you absolutely. Know what I'm saying? But I will say this: if he would have said Atlanta, or like the South, or the or, South, yeah. I, I might, but they consider, I might like, but he, but no, he, he, he should consider himself or themselves as one of the best hip hop groups right. of all time. Like not just in the South or down in Atlanta. You gotta like have he, that mentality. Be like, I'm yeah, but, I, but most, I, I, I believe that they are one of the best groups of oh, yeah, all no. time. Now, two is and for me. I, I wouldn't. I, me personally, wouldn't put them at two. But somebody got them at two. I'm just because I got to pick. Fuck with the fuck out. <laughs> I don't fuck with it, so I gotta fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, listen, man. We out here, baby, you know what I'm saying? 7 p.m. in Brooklyn, live from Red Hook, man. Carmelo Anthony, your boy the Kim Meryl, the human Durag, flat man, Wave Sports and Entertainment Original. Yo, we'll be right back next week, baby. You know what I'm saying? Look, this is the number one show. Look at me. Where's my motherfucking camera, man? Look at my face. It's your bike. Come on, Mike. This is the number one show on the internet, man. And there's a lot of shows on the internet, B, but this is the best one. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? Don't play with us. You know what I'm saying? We coming for our corners. You know what I mean? Carmelo Anthony, your boy the Kid Marrow. We got the whole gang in here. You know what I'm saying? So stay tuned, stay focused. And if you're not subscribed, you're bugging. So hit the subscribe, hit the little bell joint, hit the thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Go in the comments, be like, yo, I love these dudes. Do all of that. You know what I'm saying? We'll be right back next week. All right? Holla. 7 p.m. Brooklyn. Let's go. Peace.